This is the fastest and easiest way to re-roll in solo leveling Arise, but is it actually consistent? Well, let's find out. But in order to answer that question, we've actually got to learn how to re-roll first. And as you might notice, is I'm actually on my phone right now, as what, what you want to do when you when you are re-rolling on solo leveling Arise is actually use your phone or an emulator to actually do this. Now, this is because you want to actually use a guest account, because guest accounts are something that you can just quickly get rid of and not need, whereas you, if you're on PC, you can't actually create guest accounts. And what you'll essentially want to do is play through the tutorial, because once you finish the tutorial you'll get to this point right here and this is how you'll know you've, you've actually finished the tutorial is when you get to the 14 and 28 day check-in and this is where the re-rolling process will actually start so all you want to do is just pick up your rewards and because you'll be using the well some of these anyway in a, in a second and then straight away you want to come to this bit right here where you can actually go ahead and pull for your characters or weapons etc and then what you want to do is go to this select banner right here the selection draw as basically in this banner you'll be able to have 13 summons ready for you to use if you have six the next time you reset your account you will have 13 i don't know i don't know how that happens it just it does it, i don't know it's really weird but what's so special about this banner is that you get to choose a rate up list where you get to choose between four characters or weapons or to mix and match between them and then you'll actually be able to have the you'll be able to increase the chance of you actually getting those things if you do pull an SR. so not only that you'll also be able to see what everybody else is actually picking so you can see people are picking the two original characters this weapon right here and also byung gu min so if you want to go ahead and do this this is completely fine as it will they're probably going to be probably some of them the best characters or just some of the best weapons in the game as well and then if you want to see in further details as to how how by how much people are picking these things then you can go ahead and click the recommended button so you can go ahead and see what what the, how much these certain characters or weapons are actually being picked so by this point once you've actually been able to get to the login you'll be able to have 13 of these tickets as well as 1500 of these essence stones and then you can go ahead and choose whether just to use only these tickets or these tickets plus all of your essence stones say on the, the Choi jong in banner if you wanted to pull for him and try and get him as well so it's really up to you in terms of how much you want to spend when you are re-rolling but most of the time i feel like you're just going to probably want to spend as much as you can to try and give yourself as much of an opportunity as possible to get the things that you want so then i actually want to look at rates so the rates for ssr characters or just ssr items in general is actually going to be a 1.2 percent chance which is quite really low to be honest it's unfortunate but i guess that's the kind of rates that comes with these types of games that are very similar to Honko star rail and genshin impact so i think that's to be expected at least but then you'll also see all the four items that i chose to be rated up have now been rated up to a 0.15 percent chance of, of us actually getting them so i guess next up actually what do you actually want to kind of get when you're re-rolling well if we go to the codex right here we can go ahead and first of all do the tutorial for it and we can claim some more of these uh, essence stones right here and there's like a bunch of other stuff that you can claim around but you don't necessarily have to do it if you don't want to because it probably won't make any difference so yeah overall i guess in terms of weapons or characters which ones do you actually want the most well overall i'd probably say weapons are slightly more important but but characters are a lot more fun as a lot of weapons like this demonic uh, plum flower sword are going to have a lot more longevity as opposed to if you have to have like a character that could just potentially be really really bad as we don't necessarily know which characters are good yet or not whereas i feel like with like an sr weapon i feel like they're always going to be really really good but I, I guess the same can be said with characters but i feel like weapons just do eventually have more longevity because they can be used on multiple characters and they also allow for multiple different play styles uh, although all these weapons that are available in this banner are only for sung jinwoo but again the, the the point still stands but if you do just want to have more fun then go ahead pick characters at the end of the day this is just a game so having fun is the most important thing and especially because this game is mainly tailored around single player content although i think there is some ranked based co content coming eventually or that might already be in the game i'm not too sure yet but yeah to be honest it's up to you what you prioritize the most as yourself whether you just want to have characters to have fun or if you want to have weapons to be able to do even more damage and get fun that way so right here we go time to do a multi and the we'll be able to know the if it's an SR animation by this bit right here where basically a bunch of errors will start popping up on the screen which it didn't right here which means we didn't get an SR unfortunately but we could maybe get a bunch of SRs who knows and then maybe the multi could be technically worth it depending on how you view things but we only got two and oh we got Kim Chol right Kim Chol? Yeah, okay. It's to be fair for an SR character. He's pretty damn cool. And then we also got a weapon as well. So then we can also go ahead and just spend the rest of our tickets. And then we can go ahead and just spend all of these. We're probably not going to get an SR because the rates are so goddamn low, which is why it's going to have to take you probably quite a lot of tries to even get a SSR, but it is what it is. So there we go. I spent all my tickets. And now we can go ahead and go to say the Choi Jong In banner. Just try and pull Choi Jong In. Or you could go back to the standard banner and pull more on there if you wanted. It is completely up to you. Although what 
I will say is if you can get yourself a Choi, then you will, I think you can also get his weapon for free, which is really, really good from an event. So if you can pull him, then you'll have a, an SSR character with an S with his, with their own specific SSR weapon, as well as also Wu Jin Chul from the login as well, from the 14 day login. I think you can get Wu Jin Chul as well as his weapon as well, which is also really, really cool. So with doing that, you'll be able to get two SSR characters and have both of their weapons, which is really, really cool. And what is also cool is that we got Huang Dong Suk. So yeah, and then that's, that's pretty much it for the actual re-rolling process of the summoning portion. Now, how do we actually go again? Well, what you're what going to want to do is come to your menu in the top right, and then you want to go to your settings and then go to account settings. And this is why you want to be a guest account on your phone, because for some reason you can't create guest accounts on PC, which is a bit weird. But all you want to do is go to tap reset account, make sure you've read all of the above uh, agreements, whatever, and then click reset account again, then you'll have to do it again. And then what it will do, it will send you straight back to the, the loading screen or whatever, where you can go ahead and sign in as a guest again. So now you may be wondering, wow, now I've got to play through all of that tutorial again. Well, however, this is where Netmarble have actually done a really fantastic job with the re-rolling system is you'll be able to see this. And this is basically the quick skip, which are basically it will detect if you've already played the tutorial before. And then if you have, and then well, if, if you, well, it, it won't come up if you haven't, but when you have, you can check this box and then you can either choose to play this the tutorial again if you wanted, or you can skip it. But because we're re-rolling, we're going to want to skip it. And then basically after waiting to waiting for the loading times, you'll then be brought back to, to this screen right here, which you'll then be able to see the, the daily login. And then there you go. And then you can re-roll straight away. So we can get all of our rewards. And then it says you've skipped all the tutorials. And then we can go ahead and just play the game. And we can also summon. And then you, there you go. We've got the 1500 essence stones as well as the 13 uh, tickets for the selection draw as well. So once again, we can just pick everything that we want. And then we can do the multi, maybe get an assault. Oh my God, wait, we actually did. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay, nice. All right. This could be good. This could be good. Go on, be the plum sword. Be the plum sword. I don't know what this is going to be. Oh my bro. Okay, this is actually that's actually pretty lucky. I can't. Oh my god, there's two. Oh my god, there's two. Who's this? Is this Byung Byung Min? I'm tripping out right now. What the? It is. God damn. What the hell? Oh my god, there's two in there. Okay, I'll be honest. It, yours will not look like this. <laughs> the hell most likely you'll only get one all right so just keep please keep that in mind this is not a uh, an, a, a, a consistent example of representation <laughs> i don't know, even know if that makes sense but and then we got a huang dong sick as well pretty damn cool and then finally i think the ssr is in this next one right who we got oh it's a weapon i think is that a weapon Ooh. okay we got the grimoire all right all right i don't know if this weapon is very good or not i have no idea but either way i'm taking it Look at that for a multi. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. And I've still got the three tickets and my 1500 essence stones right there. And this is my new account. <laughs> So there you have it. Well, from my own personal findings, I would say it was very consistent. However, I know that it's not going to be an accurate representation of what all of you guys are going to be experiencing. So overall, I'd probably say it's probably not horrendously consistent and it's probably going to take you many hours potentially of just nonstop re-rolling. Although it is very quick re-rolling as you can just do it within minutes of each other, which is really, really good. But if you did find this video useful or just helpful or just entertaining in general, then don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.